Now the TTL in the IP header is the time to live value. And so basically this describes for me the number of hops that I have before this packet is gonna be dropped by a device in the network. So this kind of scopes the packet for us. And every time we hit a router or a firewall for that matter, depending on its configuration, we decrement this TTL by one. And so if we do that all the way through the network, eventually this should time out. The exception to this rule is with the ASA. And that's because the ASA by default is not going to decrement the TTL because it's gonna act as a transparent hop. And so we can modify that behavior, but by default, it's not going to appear as a layer three hop and therefore it is not gonna decrement the TTL. Now there are attacks that are based on TTL. There is the TTL expiry attack. In the document that you see linked here, you can find out how to identify this attack and also how to mitigate the attack. But it is also something that we need to be concerned with, understanding that TTL can be used as an attack vector and we need to understand how we can protect against it.